Hopefully after today's chiropractor session, my bones will still be fine. Hey everyone, I'm Dennis. I'm a life-saving athlete gearing up for a big competition in August 2024. Join me behind the scenes as I navigate the challenges of planning for training, food, logistics and balancing it all with my full-time job. My current game plan is to train twice a day, morning and evening. It won't be easy every day, but that's the goal. As a newcomer to vlogging, I'm still finding my storytelling style. Uh, the first few videos might not be perfect, but I hope to get better uh, with each upload. <laughs> Yeah, alright, so with 26 weeks until the competition, this vlogging journey will capture the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning. Time now is 6.56. I'm planning to head to the gym for a morning run, a 30 minute run. See there. The second workout for today morning is this uh, ski machine. It's to simulate like a surfing pool. And usually, I, before I come for workout, I have all my stuff like preloaded. So when I come here, I just like execute only, run, run, run. Yeah, so the night before, I will plan all the stuff and maybe set all the whatever stuff I need to do. And let's get it on. Naturally, I will skip. Uh, not natural. I will skip the. I will skip my morning training because sleep is important. As much as I can, I'll try and get like four sleep cycles. And I assume like one sleep cycle is like 19 minutes, so at least six hours. No. So sometimes on uh, days like this where my day end it, I'll just give up the next day morning training. Like I won't strong. Uh, I could, but yeah, I will just sleep in. Yeah. Basically, sleep is more important than the, my training for now, like in terms of priority. Lunch time now. <coughs> time now is it's 1 p.m. There's quite a lot of people, so that's why I'm sitting in this special zone. Uh, this is actually a KD area. So the chairs are shorter, the tables are shorter. Well, for lunch for today. What's up people? The time now is 9 o'clock, I'm heading to the gym. The time now is about 11.30 Just completed exercise Eating my fruits before I call it a day And prepare for tomorrow again So tomorrow I plan to have a morning training And tomorrow is actually my Tomorrow is actually my rest day So I don't really have work But I have a like a Meeting lah Okay so sort of like A bit of work So I'm going to train in the morning Then after I go do my work stuff then I'm going to train uh, in the pool at night again. Yeah, that's the plan tomorrow. I'm going to head to the gym for my morning's training in a while. But before that, upgrade my shoes. <laughs> Shoes are upgraded. Wow, look at this Baymax down here. Almost bled, almost camouflaged into. Like, yeah, almost camouflaged in. Baymax 1, Baymax 2. Uh, Alien 1 and Alien 2. Right, upgraded my foot. Now getting the regime. Work uh, in another area. Uh, yeah, but before work start, 
lunchtime now. training later tonight these are all my training stuff I want to carry them as a precaution in case I end work like late today uh, it's a short day but I still brought them in case like just in case yeah going to head back and chill a while see you at training tonight it is about 5 40 slightly about one hour before training and I got a little bit hungry so decided to get a small snack to eat before training it's a plain work I bought a plain waffle normally I'll eat a peanut butter waffle so I will buy a, if, I'm, if it's convenient and near like uh, if it's convenient I'll upgrade my waffles to peanut butter waffle Normally I always have corn. Yeah. I will drink some tea as well. Good, sounds good. Maybe I shall try this. The quiet mind herbal flavor. It's my first time eating this T2 tea. It's a gift from the RH swimmers. Thank you guys. Wow. Oh, it smells good, yeah. <laughs> This uh, chiropractor 
place I'm going, right, it's actually recommended by one of my friends, uh, Josephine. Uh, interestingly, I also know the doctor, Dr. Daniel Tan, uh, because uh, I know him from water polo, last time when I played polo in uh, SP. Uh, and the last time I saw him, right, he was actually quite scary. I played as a keeper, and wow, his strength is like insane, one. he's a center back, like very big size guy. <laughs> Thankfully, he's on my team. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully after today's chiropractor session, my bones will still be fine. <laughs> Just done with the chiropractor session. Wow! I don't know, I feel my body is very, very, very shook. Like, very, it's like unleashed. But that's, that's like physically, that's what I feel like. Performance wise, I haven't tried. Tonight training, maybe we, we shall see if I perform a little bit better. But it's a very enjoyable session with that Dr. Daniel, the chiropractic, uh, chiropractor session. Yeah, I'm heading for lunch right now.
Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, it is th this is my first vlog that I've ever done. Uh, it's not the best quality, I must admit. Some and it takes time to like get used to talking to the camera and more like the story telling aspect. How do you tell a story in a short, shortest possible time so that like, I don't lose attention? All this I'm like trying to prepare myself as well. I don't think I'm very good at it. Hopefully, I'll get better through each upload and through reviewing, reviewing, uh, reviewing or, or whatever I shoot so far. Yeah, but uh, before when I uh, when I decide to embark on this vlogging journey, I did think about like the purpose, how long it'll be for, and why I'm why I'm doing this is because I want to showcase like the effort athletes uh, or non full time athletes put in to be at the top of our game during the competition as, as, uh, itself because it, it's not an easy journey I must say and sometimes the results don't justify like if if we only look at uh, whether you win or lose it doesn't uh, it's not justifiable uh, in the sense I think there's a lot of effort that's uh, put in to preparing ourselves I can't say for everyone but for myself like uh, these are the things I do and I hope to capture every bit and detail of uh, all the struggles that I face uh, handling like uh, my full-time job as at the same time doing, uh, doing uh, preparing myself for this competition and hence my channel or the, the channel I, I, I am using is called part-time lifesaver full-time engineer I'm a full-time engineer by the way yeah yeah and one of the uh, key uh, high priority is to comp uh, do this vlog in the least intrusive manner to my uh, to my lifestyle. So the high high turnaround is like uh, the high priority. I can how I can vlog uh, sustainably over a long term so I don't burn out as well. I pro I'm probably going to do this for the next uh, 26, 27, or 28 weeks until the competition and. How I can capture each and every moment without sacrificing like uh, this, my sleep, without sacrificing uh, my work, my sleep, or my training, just to edit this vlog. So, uh, yeah, I'm still working some of the things. I'll see how, how I can do things more efficiently to generate this weekly vlog, uh, vlog stuff, and also improving on my storytelling skill. How to present a point faster. Uh, so that I don't lose the attention of everybody. Oh my god, it's three minutes in this up. Why is this this closing? Okay, what do people normally say uh, in the closing? Click here, click here for more. Click here. no no. Uh, click here for smash the subscribe button. Right, I'm clearly not very good at this, but hopefully I'll get better. Click here to subscribe. See you guys in the next vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching. Whoever you guys are, first ever vlog. <laughs>